Today I'm going to fill out some more pages in Mariah Elizabeth's Create This Book 2 with an EVIL twist. So the first page says, create seasonal decor. Decorate this page based on the current season. Right now it's fall for normal people and autumn for you fancy folk. What will you have today, sir? <laughs> I'll take your finest caviar. It's the season for sweaters and bonfires and pumpkin spice lattes. But that's not even why I love this season. Everything's cooling down. There's a slight breeze in the air. All the leaves are dying. Pumpkins are being stabbed and gutted. What's not to love? Anyway, we're going to be hearing a lot about pumpkins pretty soon, so I figured I'd draw some today. Sure, why not? But I want to make everyone feel included, and not everyone likes Halloween and pumpkins. <laughs> I know, I was shocked too. So instead today, I decided I'd make the Dark Lord of Pumpkin Spice, the destroyer of pumpkins. <laughs> I was inspired by this picture that was sent to me, and it reminded me of the dark Halloween version of Olaf. You know, the little snowman with the carrot nose. For the Dark Lord of Pumpkin Spice, I wanted his eyes to be squinting. I wanted him to look like he's saying, Yes, he will be my next victim. The true face of a madman. <laughs> Of course he has a whole pile of victims laying around him already because this season is mostly about overindulgence in pumpkins. I decided to take off the little jack-o'-lantern face on his belly there because it made him look a little less like a pumpkin snowman to me. I also added a couple little flies flying around because I wanted it to look like the slaughtered pumpkin people were rotting and they're starting to stink. He you, dude. Basically, I wanted it to smell like death was in the air. I feel like it adds to the whole spooky atmosphere. In fact, I wanted this page to look very gory, so there's a ton of pumpkin guts everywhere. Get your pumpkin pie! By the way, if you're new here, you should consider selling your soul to me by subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon and select the all option so you don't lose me on the internet. I post new videos every Friday. All right, back to the video. I do use Posca pens to draw and color on each page, and I don't want it to bleed onto the next page. That wouldn't be good. So I usually just draw these in one of my sketchbooks, and then cut them out and glue them into my Create This Book. Okay, let's cut this guy out and then glue that baby daddy in there. I figured we needed something to continue the drawing onto the second page, so I decided to draw some more horrified pumpkins. I also drew a little cute fence and a tree with a moon. Sometimes my drawings are a bit too long. Like this time? I've made a terrible <laughs> mistake. So I will have to make some ah! adjustments. The description of the prompt got a little covered up, but that's not that big of a deal. Sorry if that bothers you. I could have planned that out a bit better, maybe done some measuring beforehand, but whatever. I thrive in chaos. So I normally try to stay away from Halloween stuff and Halloween characters. I thought you celebrate Halloween year round. No, no. Just no. As much as I love Halloween, I don't want my channel to be an only Halloween channel. I'm going for more the dark side vibes in general. Evil characters that are still kinda cute, kinda quirky, that's more my thing. Of course, since it is Halloween time, you'll probably see me doing some more seasonal art. Just a heads up. I was holding off on the sign because I had no idea what I wanted to put on there. I ended up settling for... Oh my gourd. Because I thought it was punny, seeing as a pumpkin is a gourd, in case you didn't know that. Alright, moving on. For this page, I had to create shine. <laughs> Figure out a way to make this page shiny. This page was kinda tough for me to come up with something. For whatever reason, I couldn't think of anything shiny when I was doing this. I thought about making a pompous lady with a ton of jewels on, but that didn't really... Inspire me? I wasn't really feeling the rich old lady vibes today. In The Hobbit, there's this dragon named Smaug resting on a hoard of gold, so that's who I ended up basing this page <gasps> off of. He basically barbecues anyone who comes near his treasures, kinda like a pirate guarding his booty. No, not that booty. 
the other booty. You can't really call it hoarding though, it's more like collecting valuables. I purposefully didn't make my dragon look exactly like Smaug. I wanted mine to look kind of chill and derpy, but still in a roar, I'll blow your face off kind of way. I honestly prefer drawing derpy characters. There's a sort of charm about them. I find them to be relatable. I was really excited to do this page because I finally got a chance to use my gold Posca pens. I have no idea what else I would use these for other than to draw gold. I drew some bones and skeletons because I wanted to make it look like a lot of people over the years have tried to steal this treasure, but none have succeeded. That is until Mr. Steal Your Gold over here walks in. Of course I based him off of Bilbo Baggins. If you don't know who that is, uh... Educate yourself. Basically, to summarize, Bilbo is this brave, tiny little hobbit who has to sneak into Smaug's lair to steal some treasure. That brutal beast of a dragon is asleep on piles of hoarded gold, but soon wakes up and he is not a happy camper. To say the least. At some point, I would like to put a more menacing looking dragon in this book. I just wasn't in the mood for a scary dragon today, though. There's a huge crack in the dragon's backside. We're just gonna ignore that. Also, I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but I haven't yet decorated the front and back cover of my Create This Book. I just haven't thought of anything. Nothing has struck a chord yet, so if you guys could let me know down in the comments if you have any ideas for what my front and back cover could be. So moving on to the next page, it says create a split decision. Write or draw the first thing that comes to mind. The first thing that came to my mind was a banana split. So I thought I might make someone pigging out on a banana split. I did kind of sketch this out first. In the original, I used Copic markers. Yes, I have Copic markers now. I know it's kind of a big deal. But anyway, I used Copic markers for the original and then in the final, I used Posca pens. Why? Why would you do that? Well, I like how bright the Poscas look and I didn't really decide which page I wanted to use for the thumbnail at this point. Of course, I want to use some bright colors on the thumbnail. I don't know. This is kind of just sounding like a whole bunch of excuses, but bottom line is I did what I did and now it's done. Once I'm done the drawings, do let me know which one you guys prefer, the Copic in the original or the Posca drawing I'm working on. I love how you clicked on this video thinking you'd get darkness and chaos, but instead you just ended up with a fat pig chomping down on some ice cream. To be honest, I could have made this pig a lot more evil, but hindsight is 2020. Mistakes were made. In my defense though, this was a split decision. I didn't really have time to think about it. I had to draw the first thing that came to my mind. And the first thing that popped into my head was, of course, food. I'm sure you're not too surprised about that. Anyway, I think it turned out okay, I guess. It's adequate. <coughs> okay, let's glue this thing in there. And then just when I thought I was done, I decided, nah. I'm gonna rip this page out and start over. <laughs> I wasn't good enough for you. Is that it? No. <laughs> smell. I just wasn't really satisfied with the way things were looking. It's not evil enough. I need more chaos. Maybe something a bit more homicidal. To stay true to the prompt, I'm going to stick with the original banana split idea because that worked so well the first time around. This will be my third time attempting this fat pig, so let's see. I don't know. Hopefully third time's the charm. You might recall my little mess up with the Dark Lord of Pumpkin Spice, where I didn't measure the page and my drawing ended up being a little too long, so I had to cut it down a bit. Whoops. Well, I didn't want to make the same mistake twice, so I did actually measure the page this time. I'm making progress here. Continuing with the theme of learning from my mistakes, I didn't want to just do a basic banana split. This banana split itself is going to be made out of pigs. Three little piggies, one strawberry, one vanilla, and one chocolate. So basically, Neapolitan ice cream. Or as my girlfriend mistakenly calls it, Napoleon. She's very, very bad with names. I won't argue with that. Neapolitan, Napoleon, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Same difference, I guess. To make it more obvious that the pigs are supposed to be a banana split, I'm going to put some syrup dripping down on their heads, kind of like Mariah Elizabeth does. The pink one is gonna have some vanilla syrup dribbling down, the white one has chocolate, and the brown pig has some strawberry on top. I really wanted the ice cream to contrast and stand out a lot against the colors of each pig, so that's why I did it that way. And I thought it would be a cool touch if a cannibalistic pig was in the background getting ready to nibble on these little piggies. Help us! Please don't let it eat us!
gruesome, yet flavorful. That's exactly what I was going for. Make sure that you like and comment on this video, or next time you have some ice cream, I'll make sure you eat it a little too fast. Brain freeze.